The name's Reeves, James Reeves, special agent for TFB TV. In today's episode, we're talking about the ultimate modern day spy gun, a SIG P365 and nine millimeter with a dead air Odessa silencer. I'm going to explain why in today's video. What was so revolutionary about the 365 when it came out a little over a year ago is the fact that it is a flush fit, 10 round, single and a half stack, almost double stack magazine. This magazine allows the 365 to be about the same size as most single stack handguns that only hold six rounds of nine millimeter, but you're holding 10 plus one in the chamber, so 11 rounds of nine millimeter in a package that you can almost fit in your pocket. This one I've equipped with a True Precision 365 barrel. It's threaded in half by 28. You know what makes threads great? What are threads for? Well, they're for attaching muzzle devices, of course. And one of those muzzle devices, perhaps the best one, is a suppressor, mounting a suppressor. And you see here, we've got a teensy, teensy dead air Odessa silencer. Now the Dead Air Odessa is a modular silencer. And what that means is that you can add these little baffle stacks. You can start at zero and go all the way out to 12, adding more and more baffles. Obviously, the more baffle stacks you add, the quieter it can get. I mean, just look at this total package here. You can put 11 rounds of nine millimeter, bring an extra magazine with your SIG P365. It's got tritium night sights, so you can see in low light situations. And in your left pocket, you can put your Odessa bring an extra magazine, bring an extra set of baffle stacks so you can make your Odessa quieter. This is pretty much like the ultimate real life Bond gun. Now, if you're running a suppressor, that means you need subsonic ammo. So I've got some Supervel Hush Puppy ammo. It's 158 grain, which is pretty heavy for nine millimeter. 158 grain subsonic, which means it won't make a supersonic crack whenever you fire it out of a pistol. Out of a compact full-size pistol, you're talking about 965 feet per second, so it might be a little bit slower coming out of this 365, but it's still gonna pack a wallop with all that weight, that 158 grains of weight versus the normal 115 grain. That's basically the gist. I mean, look at this total package here, very covert, very concealable. I think that this is right now the ultimate spy gun package, but let's see if it really performs as advertised out in the range. All right, guys, I'm not expecting much, so I've got my hearing protection in because we're shooting the 365, which already has a very short barrel, so that means you're gonna get a lot more gas and debris coming out than you normally would, and it's probably gonna be a lot louder. And we're firing the Odessa with only one baffle stack on the end here. Again, you can add as many or, or as few as you want. I don't think this is gonna be that quiet but we're gonna give it the college try anyways. I have hearing protection in just in case. So we're gonna start out with three rounds of Federal Syntec 147 grain. I've plugged this stuff in the past before. Federal's a sponsor of the program. I hate lead exposure, I hate lead, so Syntec's great. It really cuts down your, your risk of lead exposure, so I love this stuff. We have three rounds of that at the top. Then we have two rounds of Supervel 147 grain, which is made specifically for silencers. And then we have two rounds of Supervel 158 grain, so it's even heavier than the 147. Your first round, your suppressor's totally empty, no gases in it, no liquids, nothing. So whenever you fire, it's usually the, the loudest shot. So we've got three rounds of the, the Syntec and then two rounds of each subsequent round. Let's see how it sounds in the ultimate concealable package here. As small as it gets, one baffle stack. All right, so not too quiet, right? This isn't as James Bond pew pew as you might expect or as you might want it to be. But here's something to pay attention to. This gun is so freaking tiny, but this was just me screwing around, not even trying to make a good group. I'm, I'm really focusing on, on the audio testing. And I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, from 10 yards. From 10 yards, like this tiny little, this is like a two and a half inch group, not even trying. 
um, uh, firing from 10 yards. So I will say you, you also have to add that because of how good the trigger is on this P365 and how well it, it handles ergonomically, you can still shoot pretty good groups and that adds. So you're taking away some spy points by how loud it is with just the single baffle stack, but you're getting some back with how lethal this thing is. I mean, look at this. All right, so now we're gonna cheat a little bit. I just added a half dozen baffles. So we've got seven total baffles in addition to the Odessa body, but we're still talking a very compact package. This is still in the standings for Ultimate Spy Gun because again, even in these tiny shorts that you guys love so much, um, I've got my P365 and the Odessa is so slim that it's very easy to just put in my left pocket. You still are left with a very compact overall package. So we're gonna do the same setup, three rounds of 147 grain Syntec, plus two rounds of 147 grain Supervel, plus two rounds of 158 grain Supervel. Ultimate Spy Gun, take two with the Odessa and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbered baffle stacks. All right, so that was actually hearing safe. I didn't have hearing protection in my right ear, but it's certainly a lot quieter than an unmitigated gunshot, right? So I think now uh, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better about my Ultimate Spy package selection here. I think that the Odessa with the 365 and the seven baffles, you're talking a, a pretty quiet package, especially when you look at how small the overall package is. Oh, there are going to be so many comments about small packages below. I just know it. Or should I say I feel it. So as we all know, a good spy is like a good Boy Scout. You know, you really have to capitalize on the resources you have available to you to adapt to your mission. And that's what we're doing here. So there's something that they call they being silencer people. I think ablative material. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I've only ever read it. A-B-L-A-T-I-V-E. That's a fancy word for liquids that you put inside of a suppressor that make it quieter. I don't know why that is. I don't know how it works. Go Google it, I guess, um, if you wanna know more. But for some reason, if you add just like a, a cap full of water into your suppressor, uh, it'll make it quieter. So on our mission, what I had available to me was the remainder of the white monster sugar-free that I didn't finish this morning. So we just put a few milliliters of white monster into this dead air suppressor, still with the seven baffle stacks. I just loaded it with three rounds of 158 grain Supervel, and we're going to see if it made it any quieter. I'm as curious as you guys are. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say it made it quieter. All right, so you know we had to do it. This is the Odessa 9 body with 11. That's all the baffle stacks it comes with. A, a full set of baffle stacks on the SIG P365. We're gonna use 147 grain Supervel Hush Puppy. I've gotta mention that, and, and I've neglected to mention this so far, part of the reason why I think this is such an awesome spy gun combo is because the sights on the SIG, you can still see them with the Odessa. The Odessa, again, very compact, so you can still use your sights. Normally, with a larger suppressor, it'll block your sights, and it isn't you can't see what you're shooting at per se, but you kind of have to do some guesswork. With the SIG 365 and the Odessa 9, you can't even tell it's on there, guys. I mean, have a look at this. You can't even tell that it's on the gun if you weren't thinking about it. If somebody just kind of snuck one of these onto the end of your barrel while you were shooting at the range, you might not even notice. It's that low profile, and that's part of the reason why I feel like this belongs as like kind of the spy combo setup. That narrow diameter. All right, let's give it a shot. All baffles. I'll be surprised if it cycles, to be honest with you. I mean, you've got this much barrel, 
guys, and this much, almost three times as much silencer, but let's see. Oh, yep, we might be manually. Oh, it looked like it cycled that time. Yeah. So it's really quiet. The trade-off is you're gonna have to go solid snake on them. You're gonna have to fire one, manually cycle, fire, but that's cool. That's worth it, that's worth the trade-off. And hey, the thing is, I mean, all you gotta do is just unscrew these baffles, take off as many as you want, and uh, it, it functioned perfectly, uh, you guys saw, with baffles one through seven in place. So once we added eight, nine, 10, and 11, you can anticipate, again, with a gun this size, I'm not mad at it. I, I expected it to not work with that configuration. So in conclusion, is the SIG P365 with the Dead Air Odessa 9 silencer, in fact, the best spy gun combo out there? Is this something that James Bond or Harry Tasker or Jack Ryan would carry? I would say yes, practically speaking, yes. You do have extremely quiet guns, but they're not as pragmatic. Think about, say, the B&T VP9. The VP9, they call it like the veterinary pistol because it's made to like euthanize animals or, or what have you. But you're talking about a gun that isn't, you wouldn't carry it to use for self-defense. It's maybe an assassin's gun. But with the SIG P365 and the Odessa 9 combo, you're talking about something a lot more pragmatic because the SIG P365 is a great concealable, powerful gun. You've got 11 rounds of nine millimeter with this thing and they're making up to 15 round magazines and you can jam this thing in your pocket. Same goes for the Odessa 9. You've got good suppression in a tube that's barely bigger than a cigar. I would say that the 365 and the Odessa combo is the ultimate spy combo just because you can multitask with it. You don't need to fire it suppressed and it's very capable suppressed or unsuppressed. You've got enough firepower that fits right in your pocket. Anyways, I hope you guys agree with me. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It helps us out a ton. It costs you nothing. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click that little notification bell just so you guys know when our new videos come out. Guys, I want to say thanks a ton to Blue Alpha Gear, one of the best sponsors in the world. They make great belts for any spy mission. And I also want to say thanks to Ventura Munitions. If you guys need subsonic ammo for your suppressor applications, I highly recommend you check out Ventura Munitions, the best ammo retailer online. Guys, thanks again for watching. I will see you next week.